Okay, my name's David McMahon. I'm a tour guide in the Northern Territory. I've been living up here for about 10 years. I moved up and uh, I was instantly blown away by the, the abundance, top end coastlines and like nowhere else in the world. I've been tour guiding ever since. Yeah, honestly, I think I've got one of the best jobs in the world. To be able to show off the Northern Territory coastline and to show up the Northern Territory to people from all around the world, it's when you really realise how important what we've got is. You know, guests from around the world come to, to the Northern Territory and for them, it's a completely unique experience. To have somewhere so pristine, so remote and so unaltered by the last you know, couple of hundred years of development, it's a, it's a privilege for me and an amazing part of the world to work. So the marine park I work in in particular is Garig Gunak Balu National Park and uh, Garig's a language name on the peninsula, an Aboriginal language name. Gunak means land and Balu means water. So it's a marine park on land and all of the water surrounded, surrounding the, the marine park and the national park are protected. That makes it a unique place in the Northern Territory. It's the only marine park within Arnhem Land and uh, it's owned and managed by the traditional owners. So we're very thankful to have the opportunity to share that country with, uh, with guests from around the world considering it's traditional land. We work really closely with traditional owners, so it's an important economic benefit for us and for the, the traditional owners. I think it's one of the most important things about marine parks is that they, they really protect fish stocks, not just within the marine park, but within the greater area. And the fact that we're still able to, to utilise that resource in the park as recreational fishes and as a tourism business, you know, it means that we can still keep on sustainably making money off that park and that marine environment for forever. So tourism in the Northern Territory is one of our biggest industries and it brings in over $700 million worth of, worth of economic benefit to the Territory a year. And that gets spread right throughout the Northern Territory. So, you know, within remote communities, it's a, it's a, a really good way of bringing, bringing money into the Northern Territory and, and it's got a big future ahead of it. You know, things like mining, once it's gone, it's gone. The economic benefits of tourism, especially if it's well managed, can go on forever. So it's important, I think, now more than ever, you know, we're in pretty turbulent economic times and tourism, it's gonna be there forever, you know, once, once we, we can bounce back for this. If we continue to protect now, this is something that's gonna positively affect the Northern Territory for the rest of time. And it's important more than ever that we get out there, we make our votes count, we make sure we talk to our politicians and we get things done so that we still have this, this amazing part of the world to live in and it stays as, as unchanged as possible into the future.